an emergency a meeting that they sent out okay i didn't get 24 hours notice and they said i must bring a representative remember now i'm leaving the following morning i must bring a representative to the meeting i had a representative it wasn't about contract it was about all the promises that we're going to play um colombia and puerto rico and you know all the debacle in england and all the stuff that happened that i you know, I have it all documented anyway. And I know, I, so it was about that because the questions were about that. But it came about because of the Walker Brown incident. And my representative had an emergency. I wasn't given 24 hours, okay? And by HR, any kind of standard, you need 24 hours for a meeting. So I told him I can't make it because my, my, my they say bring a representative, my, my representative wasn't there. It wasn't about contract, absolutely nothing to do with this, to do with this kind of stuff. So again, we had a discussion with the committee in the morning. So I was so on another meeting again. And I, so I didn't go. I said, we can reschedule because I'm leaving the following morning. So that, that was it. But I wrote them back and tell them that my representative is not available. I'm not going to make the meeting, meeting because of that, because you said, bring one. I don't have one to bring because you know, less than 24 hours to get somebody to represent you in a meeting like that is very difficult. And now, fast forward to today, obviously you went to the World Cup, we know what happened, the team reached the round of 16, then you had the back-to-back -back games against Canada, you're back in Jamaica, you were called to a contract negotiation meeting. There was no negotiation. I walked into the meeting, first thing I said, Mr. Chung had a book, looked like a Bible, I said, man, you read in the Bible, he said, no. Um, we, you know, we sat down. Um, Denzel Wilkes was supposed to be coming in just to see. He sat, he, he sat with um, the president was supposed to be in the meeting. Apparently, he wasn't there because most of the meeting that we have and the president is supposed to be there, they find a way not to invite him, so he wasn't there. So Susie, Miss Susie George Gale was there. She sat right next to me. He was in front of me. I shook his hand. I sat down. We, he, he said for the first time, he said congratulations on the World Cup and Canada. He said, and I said, thank you. He said, the Canada game is a hard fight, fought game. I said, yes. I said, we must remember that Canada is one of the top team in the world and they're the defending, you know, Olympic champ. And we're just a, a country who's trying to, you know, get by. And I said to him, I said, the last time Jamaica and Canada played a game like this, this is all the discussion we had was in 2021 or 2020. I said, one of those date. I forgot the date to fall, but it was actually 2020. Jamaica, I said, what was the score of that game? And Mr. Chung says, he had no idea. And I said, well, we must know how far we have come because that game was 9-0. And now we're battling with Canada. So we're up and going. Then after that, we, we just kind of passed and he said, you know, this meeting is about, you know, he didn't say much, but he just said, I want to say to you that um, we're not, tomorrow is the 30th, and we're not going to renew your contract. No discussion, no nothing, just, just like that. Tomorrow is the 30th, and we, we, we are not going to renew your contract. Did you ask why? I didn't ask why. So you're not going to renew the contract. I don't need, it doesn't need a discussion right there. You didn't ask for a rationale or a reason? No, no, no. You say he's not going to renew it. So, I mean, with me and him sitting there, well, I, I can't ask why, because he's going to just, you know, say he's not going to renew the contract. He's, he gave me, no, he, but he gave me the why already. Your contract is up. In his word, he said the contract is up on the 30th. Okay, this was his why. The contract is up on the 30th. If we had um, move on to the Olympics, they would have honored it. They would have to honor it. That's what he said. So that was the why for him. But because of the 30th, we're not, and, and you're out of the Olympics, we're not gonna renew the contract. And I said, look at him, say thank you very much for the opportunity, the Federation, you know, you, you have a great group, group of girl, girls moving forward and coaching staff, good luck. And that was it, I walked out. Denzel Wilk is supposed to be with me. Denzel is coming in, thinking I'm going for something. So the end of the meeting over, it was a little bit late. And then they said, no, 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 can't be over. So there was no discussion about anything. Either. So how long the meeting lasted? Less than five minutes. Less than five minutes, I was in the room. 
the con he mentioned the contract that's that, that was 10 seconds I was just trying to just we would just maybe talk about the few stuff the stuff I mentioned before with all that time it's less than five minutes it's an emergency a meeting that they 